Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Canada Dreamers. In this video, we'll talk about Canada tourist visa and how you can write an invitation letter, which is the most important document in this process. So, what is an invitation letter? If you are applying for a tourist visa, then Canada Immigration Officer expect a formal invitation letter from you, which you might have received from someone in Canada, like someone from, from your family or your friend. Basically, there are many ways to draft the invitation letter. Since I applied for tourist visa for my wife two times, I'll be showing you both my letters. The first one is where the person in Canada writes a formal letter to the applicant saying that I want to invite you to Canada for so and so reason. And the second one is that when the person in Canada writes an invitation letter directly to IRCC officers on behalf of the applicant. In my first TRV application, which was refused, I followed the first method, but in the second TRV application, I followed the second method. This was just based on my experience and according to my circumstances. However, I'll be showing you both my invitations later so that you can choose based on your preferences. But before that, let me show you the official IRCC website for the invitation letter. I will give this link in the description below. So it says that when you apply for a visa to visit Canada, we ask you to give us an invitation letter from someone in Canada. You can read all this information from this website. And what you need to see is that this paragraph. So it says that you must include this all information. Uh, this is about the person you are inviting to Canada. You must include their name, date of birth, their address, the relationship to the person, the purpose of the trip, how long uh, the person is going to stay in Canada and uh, where they will stay and uh, when he's planning to leave Canada. And uh, this information is about the person who wants to invite someone into Canada. All right, so this is my first format of the invitation letter, which I drafted in November 2021. It was my first TRV application. Same as other proofs and documents, I have the header here mentioning the applicant's name and their date of birth. And on the right hand side, we have the application type. So there are basically two persons or two parties in tourist visa application. One is the inviter who invites someone into Canada and the other one is the invitee or the applicant who wants to visit Canada. So you have the inviter's name at the top and their address where they live in Canada, their contact number and then their email ID. You are writing this letter to the applicant directly so you can write the applicant's name and their address here. And now you can write the subject, which is the invitation to visit Canada. You can say that dear and then their name. I would like to formally invite you to Canada to stay with me because then you have to write the purpose of visit. So the purpose of visit should be based on your circumstances and the situations. Mention clearly to IRCC that why you want to visit Canada. This is one of the most important and deciding factor in order to finalize your application. There could be many reasons like uh, you want to visit Canada for tourism purpose. If you are a couple then missing each other, you want to celebrate something big together like birthday or marriage anniversary or you have some housewarming party coming up or you need any additional support related to your health. In my case, I had some hospital appointments and medical tests coming up in few months. So I mentioned those reasons to IRCC. Then next, I have the accommodation and salary information. So I have written like we will be staying together at my current address at this is the Canada address. And as a full time employee here in Canada, I am receiving an employment salary of this much dollar per month from working at this company. So I have mentioned all detail about myself here. Here I have the information about the funds available into my bank account because ISCC wants to know that how much funds you both are having in your account. And here I have written like I have enough funds to sponsor your trip, including the flight tickets. I have around this much dollar in my bank account here in Canada and around uh, this much dollar in my home country bank account. And the next point is that you also have the around uh, this much dollar in your home country bank account and around this much dollar as an investment, which can be saved as an emergency fund during your stay in Canada. So this is according to my situation and you can write accordingly whatever is best for you. And then I have written like I will be taking care of all the required expenses for your for you during your stay in Canada, including but not limited to all the basic necessities like housing and food, medical insurance and other local travel and personal expenses. 
which will cost approximately this much dollar per month and we will be still left with this much dollar from my monthly salary i have attached my recent six months bank statement and six recent pay stubs for verification that i can afford our joint expenses so be clear in your invitation letter that who will bear the expenses of your travel and then at last i have written like i have enclosed all other documents required to getting a visitor visa from the canadian high commission so that you can plan your trip i am eagerly waiting for your arrival to canada and really looking forward to seeing you soon and then at last i have the signature my name and the date and uh, at below i have the second format so this is the second format of the invitation letter which i drafted in february 2021 this was my second TRB application, which was approved in just four days. So if I look at it now, this looks much better than the previous one. Headers are same. And the difference is that I addressed this letter to IRCC directly on behalf of my five. I have the inviter's name here, their Canadian address, contact number, and the email ID. And below, I have the subject line, which is the letter of invitation for this applicant. In this format, I am addressing this letter directly to IRCC. So I have written like, Dear Canadian Immigration Officer or Visa Officer, I am providing this letter on behalf of this applicant who I wish to invite to Canada. And then I will give some information about myself that my name is this and uh, this is my date of birth, whether I am a Canadian permanent resident or a citizen and this is my employer's name and what is my designation. Uh, and here I will mention about my Canadian address and at last I have my contact number and in the next paragraph I will be giving the details about the applicant so through this letter I am inviting my wife so her name so you can invite if you are inviting your parents you can uh, write their details as well I am inviting my wife her name to Canada for this duration from this date to the, that, that date so please be clear about the uh, duration of your visit that when you are coming to Canada and when you will be leaving Canada. This is very important uh, in your TRV applications. She was born on this date and her country of birth. She currently lives in this country and her uh, the full address. Her contact number is this one. Here I have the purpose of visit which I have already described above in my first invitation letter. And here I have the information about her employment. This is very important to prove your ties to your home country. If you have a permanent job, a well-settled business or any property in your home country, this works as a strong ties to your home country in tourist visa applications. We have only attached the NOC letter which my wife received from her employer mentioning that her three weeks of leaves are approved to visit Canada. It is a good idea to have a return ticket because all ISCC officer wants to know that you will go back to your home country before before your tourist visa expires. So we have already mentioned about our return ticket that applicant uh, he will he or she will arrive in Canada on this date and will depart on this date. She already has a, a confirmed return ticket with airline name and the PNR number. She will not overstay as she has full-time employment job in home country and she has no intent to stay as an illegal immigrant. And uh, this is the information about the funds that how much money she is bringing to Canada and uh, how she will be financially independent. So during her visit to Canada, she will stay at my place at uh, this Canadian address and uh, she will be financially supporting herself during her visit. She will be bringing around this much dollar with her. Besides, I have also this much dollar in my account to support her in case she needs. And then uh, at last, just my signature and the dates. So this is the invitation letter format which I followed for my second TRV application. I hope that you would have got some idea on how to draft the invitation letter on tourist visa applications. And if you like this video, then please share and subscribe to our channel Canada Dreamers for more upcoming videos. Thank you.